itself in the dock in front of the jacket and threads the shackles into the hoisting eye of the jacket construction. In order for the shackles to be firmly affixed on shore and for them to be easily detached offshore, there is circulating scaffolding at the height of the attachment points. A safe platform for the riggers who have to move the 70 kilogram heavy pins of the shackles. Finally, the jacket is raised a few decimeters and turned to the extent that it is facing the latter direction of the starting rotation of the floating crane in view of its position. After that, the jacket is rigged with a floating crane against rotation. The weather forecasts are good, and then the floating crane Taklift 4 sets off for the sluice on the 16th of September 2008 towards evening. A few hours later, it is with the jacket on the North Sea. The final destination, Alpha Ventus. 12 hours later, the time has come. The jacket is positioned at the location by means of GPS and set down on the seabed exactly in front of the jacket platform, Odin. In order to achieve the highest possible safety in respect of the surface properties of the foundation and to exclude risks in view of the later position of the jacket, the location was inspected previously with a surveying vessel. In accordance with the obtained ground profile, possible obstructions in the foundation were able to be excluded and a prior preparation of the seabed was able to be waived. In order to fix the jacket on the seabed, the piles from the Ordin are now levied by means of vibrators into the provided quivers, the pile sleeves, and initially vibrated in several meters before the piling hammer is used. The vibrator is used for reasons of noise protection. The noise emissions can herewith be systematically minimized. In addition, scheduled scaring measures are used before the insertion process. Scaring, that is what the driving away of animals is called, is necessary in the North Sea, particularly in view of marine mammals such as seals and porpoises, and is implemented by means of acoustic warning signal transmitters. Subsequently, the 110-ton heavy hydraulic hammer is placed on the pile head and put into operation. The suitability of the hammer was proven by means of a pile driving analysis based on geological investigations. Important in this respect is the correct dimensioning of the pile hammer in view of foundation, pile dimensions and pile weight. The blows by the 500 kilonewton meter hammer take place at two second intervals. 120 minutes later, the pile has been taken down to the final depth. The other piles undergo the same procedure. After completing the pile driving, the connection between the driven piles and the jacket structure is made by means of injecting a high-strength special concrete, the grout. Through the pipes that have already been pre-installed on shore on the pile sleeves, the grout material is injected into the annulus gap between pile and pile sleeves. The injection material itself is manufactured by means of a special mixer on the deck of the Odin. The pumps, likewise situated there, then transport the grout into the depths with defined grouting pressure. To minimize the use of divers, this process is monitored and recorded by a remote-controlled diving robot, including underwater camera, directly on the pile sleeves. The pictures are transmitted in real time to the team on the jacket platform. In this way, they are able to monitor the pressure of the grout material and to react if need be. After successfully concluding the work, the grout pipes are removed in order to exclude damage to the anti-corrosive coating of the jacket. One of the greatest logistical challenges, however, still awaits the project team, attaching the top side onto the jacket. The weather forecast is favorable. The wave heights are within the admissible range. The marine warranty surveyor has given the green light. The time has come. The top side was attached to the hood in Imshaven and taken to the location. At the crack of dawn, the floating crane positions itself with the top side hanging on the hook down to the last centimeter in front of the jacket. This approach maneuver too has been planned in detail. The position of the floating devices in respect to each other, anchor positions, anchor rope lengths, 
everything has already been stipulated in relevant plans in the run-up. Nothing has been left to chance. Here too, clear communication is required. The instructors on the jacket instruct the floating crane by means of radio. The legs of the top side only have a little leeway in the reception funnels of the jacket. In view of the crane jib of 25 meters, the floating crane crew need to have a fine feeling for threading, even with minimum wave heights and slight swell. To simplify the process, impact sheets have been attached to the jacket funnels. A few minutes later, the time has arrived. The top side is positioned vertically, exactly over the funnels, and is slowly let down. Thus the top side, the heart of the wind farm with its integrated transformer, has reached its final position. Similarly, with the connection between the driven piles and the jacket, the top side will also be grouted with the jacket. Divers check the seabed all around the jacket, and in particular, the intactness of inlet branches, located just above the seabed, for the interior farm cabling and export cabling. Finally, the active anti-corrosion system is attached and the supporting measures removed. On the 27th of September, the work for erecting the substation Alpha Ventus was completed on time. The first German offshore transformer station has been erected. For Hochtief, this is another successfully completed project in one of the most interesting evolving markets. The experience in the offshore field, the basis for the detailed planning and work preparation, contributed towards the success just as much as the excellent relationship and smooth communication between all those involved in the project. In 2009, the first 12 wind turbines will be erected on a total surface of 4 square kilometers. They will produce energy sufficient for supplying around 50,000 households with power. The subsequent supply of the wind energy produced at sea to the German power grid will be performed by the transmission system operator Ion Netz GmbH. Now the way has been made clear. With its expertise and experience, Hochtief Construction has made decisive contributions towards this. In the first quarter of 2009, we invested approximately 10 million euros in order to make the Jacob platform even more attractive. We have fine-tuned many details in order for us to achieve a maximum permissible load, flexibility and effectiveness during operation. Offshore accommodation suitable for the 40-person team now makes it possible to achieve a much better supply and to meet international standards. The 60-meter long legs of Odin make it possible to work in up to 35-meter water depth. The new 300-ton offshore crane has a jib of 65 meters and a load torque of 4,800 ton meters. Also, the possible permissible load of 800 tons, as well as the free deck surface of 850 square meters, enables the greatest flexibility during the operation.